On the Maze Control Smooth Control, uh, this is going to be your uh, main startup screen. This will take you to anywhere in the machine that you need to go, whether it be the, the actual machining, uh, which brings you up to your position page, which tells you everything about what the machine is doing. Um, you can go into your program, which highlights what program you have called up, uh, all of your tool data for the tools that you have in the machine, what kind of setup you're going to be running, and this shows it out, out on the table. And finally, we've got our maintenance items, which um, allow you to, to keep up with the preventive maintenance on your machine, make sure you're not running out of coolant or way lube, things of that nature. But getting into a program is very simple. You simply call up your work number. And for this, I'm going to say, um, let's call this 5,000. So we have a new program called up. What kind of program? And this is really where the, the question and answer process begins. It asks you what kind of program you want to build. In this case, I want to build a maze troll program. So it starts off with the question and answers. What kind of material am I running? I'm running aluminum. What kind of is initial Z? I'm going to set one inch, um, zero return. I'm not running multiple vices, so I'll turn that off. And I do want to display my workpiece. So now it's going to ask me what the shape of my workpiece is. So I'm going to work with a square with six inches wide, six inches long, two inches tall. Boom. I've already got my workpiece shape set up. So now what we, we know what kind of process we want to use. Now what kind of tool do we want to use to do it? Again, question and answer. So we look up our tool data. We've got a uh, one inch face mill there. We'll just auto set all of that according to the type of material it is. We'll set a cutting speed of a thousand and a feed rate of 10. And now I'm into the shape I'm trying to machine. So in this case, I've got a square that starts off at zero, zero. So now we've just faced the top of our part. Now let's say we have to put a four hole drill pattern in it. Okay, so we're gonna do point machining. We're just gonna drill these holes, say a half inch diameter, two inches deep, and we'll put a 20 thousandths chamfer on it. So now the machine's already automatically selected your tools for you. So you don't even have to go into that. You can simply set your speeds and boom, you're already in your tool path. So we're going to do a square starting off at Z0. It's asking us the pitch or line length. This is going to be the line length, number of holes, two, number of holes, two, we don't want to omit anything. And now we have a representation of the four holes that we're trying to drill. It really is a step-by-step -step process. If I wanted to mill a, say I've got my hole pattern in, now I need to put a pocket inside. So we're going to do a line machining, line in, depth 0.5, stock removal 0.5. Uh, we're going to do two inches. Actually, we'll do one inch. Set our surface finishes. Again, it's asking us our our tool information. You set up your process, you set up your tool, you set up your shape. It's that easy. Uh, we'll set up some initial feed rates. So we're going to do a circle. Three inches, three inches. Circle radius, we're going to do a two inch, well, let's do a one inch radius. And there you go.
that quick. It's already in there. It's as simple as answering the questions. It's a step-by-step -step process that the machine guides you through every step of the way. All you have to do is look at what the question it's asking you is. Answer the question according to what options it gives you. And before you know it, you have a complete program and you're ready to make parts.